mixed media assemblage artist I will be showcasing today in the visual cat art category. I guess the process really begins with my mood. Um, and what I'm drawn to at the time, whether it be a character in an opera or um, you know, something from mythology or just something in a magazine that really struck me. Um, and then from there, it's just a matter of sometimes I sketch ahead of time just on a piece of paper where I want it to go. Um, often I don't, I just kind of see where it takes me and add media on top of the painting um, afterwards, so I'll glue or you know, add in with the paint, anything from newspaper and tissue paper and tin foil and fishnet um, to metal and plastic found pieces to, um, gosh, anything you can imagine. My aspirations, I would love exposure, just an audience. I think you can, you can paint art, but what's really gratifying, and do all this art uh, for yourself, which we do, all of us do, but what's really gratifying is having an audience, having people see what you're doing and their response to it. Um, I guess one thing when I was performing, you, that was instantaneous. Uh, you always know what your audience is feeling, um, what their response is. With, with visual art, unless you have a platform, like unless you're out there in the world, it's really hard to discern what people are thinking or what their, yeah, what their take is. Oh, Raw is fabulous. Um, I am so grateful to be part of it. It's been, um, it's just really exciting to be in a venue like this, in an event like this, where um, people who not necessarily are all in the art world, but can come to an event like this to support you. Um, I love it personally, just because I'm excited to talk to people. My whole office is coming. I have a blog, um, sabrinabrett.blogspot.com. My name is Sabrina Brett, and I am a raw artist.